D. Fink, the author of Creating Significant Learning Experiences, states, At some point, to be powerful performers in life as well as self-directed learners, students must learn how to assess the quality of their own work. Preparing learners for life, not only just for the test, will be a statement that you will hear repeatedly throughout this program. To help prepare you for life, we need to help you become self-directed learners who can self-assess your own contributions to your learning and that of your learning community. We explain why this is so important in the assessment of, as, and for video. So if you haven't already watched this, we suggest that you stop this video and watch that video first. In the contributions to your learning and the learning community reflections that you will engage in each course of the program, we are asking you to show your ability to be a self-directed learner by getting you to self-assess your contributions to your own learning and to that of the learning community. Learning to self-assess is an important part of your being a self-directed lifelong learner. A key part of your learning to self-assess is your ability to give and receive feedback or feed forward within a trusted learning community. Helping to create and collaborate in a learning community is another key part of your self-assessment process. You will be self-assessing your contributions to your learning and to the learning community at the end of each course by reflecting on how well you contributed to your own learning and to the learning of your learning community. The following overview of the expectations of your contributions will be fully detailed in the self-assessment marking guide. Key contributions help build and contribute to your core collaboration group. Four or five classmates are in this group. Provide peer feedback, feed forward to your core group members. Revise all assignments and reflect on these revisions. Complete all the course readings, videos, and supporting resources. Meet the various course activity deadlines indicated in the calendar. Supporting contributions. Take leadership responsibility in your core group and the course. Participate in all activities. Participate in various course forums by posting in a timely fashion, supporting your posts with research, and contributing to the course learning community as a whole. The self-assessment marking guide outlines the full details and provides an assessment scale that you can use to score your contributions to your learning and your learning community. If your reflection rationale lacks specific details and does not support your score, too high or too low, you may be asked to redo the rationale before the score is adjusted and is recorded. As a lifelong learner myself, I've come to realize that learning is a continual process and there's always room for improvement. While it is possible to check off all the boxes from the grading scale and assign yourself a perfect score, we encourage you to consider the fact there is always room for improvement, which is central to the key notion of becoming a self-directed learner. A quick note on core groups you will be required to form your own groups. As you go through the program, you may have the opportunity to collaborate with the same four to five classmates in subsequent courses. But you should also be prepared to form new groups or add new members to existing groups as people's schedules change. There are many paths through the program, so be prepared to form new groups or add to your existing group when necessary. Where does all this happen? We require you to use the discussion section of the course site for your collaboration. We will be monitoring discussions and collaborations and will question and ask you to justify your self-assessment grade if it does not align with your collaboration. The score and rationale must include links to your work and are submitted as a link to your Google document prior to your having established an ePortfolio or if you have established an ePortfolio as a link to a post. You will be doing this for each course in the program. So we encourage you to get used to the process and establish your own method for working through this reflective process. Another statement that you will repeatedly hear throughout the program is that we will not ask you to do anything we don't do ourselves. I am an autodidact or self-directed learner and all the reading, research, revisions, reflections and collaborations that we are asking you to do are simply what self-directed learners do on a daily basis. What you put into this reflective self-assessment process will impact what you get out of it, so we encourage you to make the most of this key part of your learning.